Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, so in this video, I will tell you uh, how you can uh, connect your webmail email addresses with your Outlook account. Okay. So in my case, uh, just uh, uh, I want to tell you that I am I am currently using cPanel hosting. My current website is hosted on cPanel hosting account. So uh, like there we have an option that we can create email accounts and and like each time we have to log into our webmail in order to log into our uh, email addresses. Okay. So in my case, it's a uh, webmail.webiday.com. If you are using a cPanel hosting, so it would be similar like that, like webmail dot and your domain name. But if you are using any other hosting, uh, any other hosting account, like, uh, like stack CP dead admin, or we have uh, some kinds of others. Uh, so, uh, it would be different okay so first you have to check that in my case like i am using cpanel hosting so that's the webmail.webmedia.com let's open that one and here we have to log in with your uh we have to log in with our email account so in my case it's info at webby.com and i want to attach this email with my outlook uh with my outlook okay so let's enter the password so after logging in that the very first email you show is a uh, decline configuration setting. So whenever we create an email account on cPanel hosting, you will see the similar, uh, similar sort of email from your cPanel hosting services. So just open that one. And uh, here you can see, I have some, uh, some sort of text and settings available in this section. So we have to use the very first one. It's showing secure SSL TLS settings. So we have to use uh, this one we have to use this information in order to connect our cpanel webmail to our uh, to our outlook account okay so uh, you can follow the same steps uh, in order to connect it uh, to your gmail account as well uh, so in this video i am showing you how you can connect it to your outlook and in the next video i will also show you that how you can connect it to your gmail uh, gmail personal account okay so we have to use these settings that showing secure ssl tls okay uh, we can also use the non uh, non SSL settings if your website does not have an active SSL certificate. But in my case, as you can see, I uh, the, uh, my website is containing uh, the SSL SSL certificate, so I uh, so I must use these settings, secure SSL data settings. Okay, so here we have a couple of information. So let's open your Outlook. Here it is. So this uh, this is my Outlook. Then uh, the click on the accounts. You can see an option over here, then click on add account. Okay, so from that, click on the advanced setup. And from here, just click on the internet email. Enter your email address, which you want to integrate. In my case, it's info at webiday.com. Enter your username. Uh, that's the same as your email address. Okay. And enter your password that you have used in order to create your email via your cPanel. So just enter your password, enter the account name. You can use your uh, personal account name as well. But in my case, uh, this is my uh, business email. So I'm just using my business name over here. We can use the same business name as you send your message using this name. Okay, so this is the main thing, incoming server. So we have to copy our incoming server from here. It's like in my case, it's mail.webreader.com. Okay, so just put it over. Like if you are using cPanel hosting, so uh, it would be similar for you as well. Like mail. Then uh, it will uh, it will continue with your domain name. Okay, okay. So this is the important one as well. So from the account type, you have to choose POP3. Because IMAP 4, like uh, some devices supports that and some devices uh, do not support IMAP, IMAP configuration, but as far as the POP3 is concerned, so that is supported by all of the, uh, like all the devices. So we can just simply select POP3 and then we have to enter our outgoing server. So here is our outgoing server. This is a same as our, uh, like as our incoming server. So let's just paste it double verify these things and outgoing server requires yes just check on that use the same username password for sending email yes to require ssl so we have to uh, select all of these information okay so 
uh, just remember that if your website does not contain uh, any SSL certificate, so you uh, you must not choose these two options, require SSL for incoming email and require SSL for outgoing email. So for that, just to verify from here, if your website is containing SSL so that you can use, but if uh, uh, you cannot see the HWTPS rather than you are seeing only HWTP, so I will not recommend you to do that. Otherwise it will, uh, it will keep authenticating uh, and will take much, much uh, time to verify the SSL authentication. So now after that, just click on the sign in button. It will take some time uh, to sign in and authentication. As you can see, it's showing me uh, like all done, your account was set up successfully. Okay. So we can also install our Outlook application and add our account using the same step uh, which I showed you uh, for the web desktop application of Outlook. You can follow the same step in order to log in your, uh, your mailing address in your mobile phone. Click on done. And now on the left hand side, you can see it's showing me different accounts. And here is our webiday info account. And we can just simply select it. And you can see it's also showing me my previous email accounts as well. Oh, sorry, my previous emails as well as you see over here. So, so basically what, uh, what does POP do? So basically pop just uh, replicate your mail, uh, your mailbox uh, via SMTP to your other mailing boxes, uh, which you are using to connect your email accounts. Okay. Suppose uh, whenever uh, an email comes to my, uh, to my, to my this email account info at every day. So first it will come over here in my actual webmail and then POP3 uh, will fetch up all of these emails after a period of seconds or minutes to show it over here. So that's how POP3 works. So let's uh, send uh, some sort of, uh, some sort of uh, test email from here. So let's click on the new email. And then from, uh, it's showing the info at every day, I wanna make a test email to my, uh, to my personal Gmail account. And we can use the subject as test. And we can write over here, uh, this is a test email from, Outlook SMTP server. Click on send. Okay, so it's it's sent it. So let's check it's sent now. Let's check whether we have received any email from our main email account. Okay. So you can see I just received an email. Uh from here you can see it's showing by day and i just received that and by 4 17 pm just right now so that's quite fast okay so it's also showing that send from mail for windows let's see that it's showing a standard encryption tls so basically it's you can see the lock symbol so this is what i mean so if you are using ssl so you must like that one so your mails can come to the inbox directly Okay, so test mail by baby day, signed by baby day. Here you can see now let's reply to this email uh, received and check whether we are receiving the emails or not. So I just send an email called received and let's check. Go to my inbox, refresh it. Okay, uh, it's loading. It takes a few minutes or a few seconds in order to fetch emails from your webmail server. So let's check. Uh, it's sent. And now let's uh, refresh it. <laughs> Okay, so you can see I have received an email uh, which I just sent from my other mailing accounts. So you can see it's showing me my email and this is I get received. So this is how you can just easily set up uh, your webmail server with your Outlook account. And uh, if you have any question, you can just comment. You can just comment below and let me know 
like on which topic you want the videos in the future okay i will also make a video for the gmail as well and yeah thank you so much and i hope now that's clear and yeah thank you so much for your time as well uh the goodbye allah hafiz